Tales of razor blades and apples and poison candy have been around about as long as the modern concept of Halloween. For decades, parents and police departments have warned kids that real-life monsters want to spoil all the spooky fun. Well, now we're putting those claims to the trust index. One of the first widely reported Halloween candy scares was in 1970. The New York Times published an article suggesting the possibility of strangers using Halloween candy to poison kids. It mentioned two unconfirmed incidents in upstate New York. Two days later, a five-year-old in Detroit died on Halloween from a heroin overdose. His uncle claimed the boy was exposed to the drug and tainted Halloween treats. It was later reported that the child found the drug in his uncle's home and not in a bag of candy. There was another widely reported story in the 70s. A man dubbed the Candyman Killer poisoned his eight-year-old son with a cyanide-laced pixie stick. He'd racked up a considerable debt and had taken out life insurance policies on his children. Police found other pieces of tampered candy before other kids could eat it. Researchers at the University of Delaware looked at 30 years of suspected poisoning. They didn't find a single instance where a child died or was seriously injured because of tainted Halloween candy. The university continues that research today and has labeled poison candy claims as an urban legend. If we're simply talking about people maliciously tainting candy to hurt kids, we'd also label these claims as not true. But modern developments have complicated that a bit. With the popularity and legalization of edible marijuana in some states, there have been several instances of drug-laced candy ending up at schools in Halloween bags, both intentionally and by accident. There are still no official records of a child being seriously harmed by drug-laced candies during Halloween. Many law enforcement agencies and the FDA urge parents to inspect their kids' Halloween candy as a precaution. And for that reason, we're going to give this a be-careful label.